Hi guys, so you can see what I'm thinking here. And they could see, sorry, wrong, wrong, wrong screen, one minute. Okay, you can see what I'm thinking here. Equities pushing higher, possibly a break below bond now, down at uh, 157.85 as it carries on to push. Going to see if we can get a bit more momentum and hopefully try and catch some kind of entry here. As long as equities are happy to push higher, I would be comfortable in getting a short bond roundabout here, at least down to the daily lows, possibly down to pivot. So this is what I'm thinking of now. So I just got entered now on this Bund short here at 157.85. We did have an initial retrace higher and I just put my orders down so if it did get back down to these lows I did want to miss, miss a potential breakout. So I'm just going to place my stop nice and uh, high up here. Show you exactly where I'm thinking to put it. I just want to give this trade room to breathe. Going to just keep a close eye on it as it gets down to the lows of the day and hopefully we can move, we can get a more meaningful pull back down to at least the pivot, which is where I'd really like to try and take some profit. So I'm in this now 157.85 entry, looking to take, uh, I'll evaluate closer as it gets to the lower day. If I see some decent momentum still in equities pushing higher, then uh, I will try and hold on down to pivot. Okay, so this is the trade I'm in now, guys. 157.85 short on the bund. Okay, guys. I would like some I would like some advice here please. As you can see, I'm I'm still on, on this bun now. I've got my entry at one around about 157.85. Now what I've found is I first got entered here and I am mid-range. My entry is completely mid-range now. You know, had I known better, I would have tried to have more you don't know better until you know you until these markets print are high or low. But uh, if I could have got 157.91 entry, that would have made me obviously a lot happier. So do I hold on to this now, hoping that we are going to break to new break to new lows from here, or do I bail out of bail out of this entry now at 157.85, wait patiently for 91, and try and grab a few more ticks as we hit down to the lows. Can I get your advice on what I should do here? Because all I know is that I'm absolutely mid-range and I think a bit of feedback now would be great to try and talk about how to best manage this trade. Thank you for all your input. Uh, it's, it's such a confusing thing, isn't it? And I know we've had, we've had a really good discussion on this in the room as to what to do. So this bond, I'm still in this, still in this trade now. Uh, we are um, all the more because it's been a difficult hold. I am more keen now to book some profit down at the lowest hat, 15.776 at the lower day. Still keeping an eye on equities. If they push higher, I do want to try and hold in, hold on to this for a bit more profit. Uh, I will I will gauge, but I think what I should do now definitely is attempt to move my stop down to scratch, contain this risk, uh, contain this risk now because I don't think I, I want any more risk exposed to these markets. What I am doing though now, I am letting I, I am fully aware it is my PL and. Uh, that's taking control of this trade now because where I've moved my stop is right in the middle of the range. Okay, there's, there's just no sense to move a stop here. I'm absolutely strangling this trade. So possibly what I should do then with any brains is just come out of scratch. Why well, I should not scratch? Why don't I just book profit now? I might just book profit now, wait for it to retrace up, get a better entry possibly at 157.91 around about here, and uh, then just just uh, hold it on for, for a longer move. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm, you know, why, why do I have to wait to get taken out in what is obviously a terrible place to place my stop? So I think that's what I'm going to do, guys. Thank you for the advice, and I'll see if I can get the entry on it. Okay, looking to uh, finally take some, well, if it's going to go down, let it go down, but I'm looking to just close out this trade now. I feel that the conditions have changed, and uh, yeah, just looking to finish off this and see if I can get a better entry. I'm not convinced that Bun has got the legs to go down to the lows, so let's see what we're going to try and do here. Okay, now look at that. Bun now, uh, the minute I come out, we get this nice bearish candle through target one, headed towards target two. You can't make it up, can you? But this is what the markets do. We make, you know, we were speaking about this clearly in the room. Many guys were telling me to come out, out even to scratch the trade straight away, and it just goes to show. Perfect example. When emotion clouds your, gets, gets involved within your trading, you are your own biggest enemy to banking those profits. This was now a great trade that would have worked out, you know, really well at least to low of day, even further. I'm not. I mean, I'm not going to cry over what ten. Even if I lose ten, fifteen, uh, even you know, what's you know, ten, fifteen tw ticks. It's not the be all and end all, but you know, it just goes to show that. Uh, the, the important role of a trader is to conquer his emotions at all time. 
Well, I'm glad I haven't lost, so I have to also take that into effect also. This was turning against me at one point, and it was looking a bit hairy. And uh, so I should never be upset at seeing a bit of green on the ladder. But, it, you know, what can I say, guys? Thank you for your input. Much appreciated. Just put it back in. Just put it in uh, the to-do list of things to conquer when it comes to my own trading. Get rid of those emotions and just stick to what I'm seeing. <laughs> Target to reach. Thank you, Bund. Uh, <laughs> We've been through it all again, guys. So there you go. Great trade, poorly managed, uh, and and there you have it. That's all the excuse there is. Okay, but excellent, excellent learning opportunity here. And I'm sure not just me, but it is the battle of every trader to find this balance. So really, really, I would rather this to be a good lesson. Uh, the profit might not be as much as what I was hoping, but it's a great lesson for as traders that we all should learn.